Hi guys, good afternoon. Um, today, this afternoon, I'm going to um, scratch some of these cards off. Five years for you. Five scratch cards here. 40, 41, 42, 43, 39. I actually got these Sunday and I'm scratching them off today, Tuesday. Right, Alexa, what happened on this day? On May 21st, 1554, Queen Mary the first grants a royal charter to Derby School as a grammar school for boys in Derby, England. On May 21st, 1703, Daniel Defoe is imprisoned on charges of seditious libel. On May 21st, 1894, the Manchester Ship Canal in the United Kingdom is officially opened by Queen Victoria who later knights its designer Sir Edward Leader Williams. On May 21st, 1917, the Imperial War Graves Commission is established through Royal Charter to mark, record, and maintain the graves in places of commemoration of the British Empire's military forces. On May 21st, 1932, bad weather forces Amelia Earhart to land in a pasture in Derry, Northern Ireland, and she thereby becomes the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. On May 21st, 1939, the Canadian National War Memorial is unveiled by King George VI and Queen Elizabeth in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. On May 21st, 1966, the Ulster Volunteer Force declares war on the Irish Republican Army in Northern Ireland. And on May 21st, 1982, Falklands War, a British amphibious assault during Operation Sutton leads to the Battle of San Carlos. Right, good afternoon guys, um, I do like my history as well. So, five years for you, top prizes of £5,000 every month for five years, if you win, and the prize is five years, you win £5,000 every month for five years. Now, wouldn't that be fantastic? Well, it would. But the chances of that are very slim, but... Um, when I've got a few spare pound coins, I will, I will get scratch cards because you never know. You could be that one person that gets that lucky scratch card. But I don't gamble every day. I can control how many scratch cards I buy. Because what happens is with gambling, and it, including fruit machines... <coughs> Thank you, Max. <laughs> Including fruit machines. So what happens is, the addiction is with a fruit machine. You put the coin in, yeah? You put the... When, when I was a girl, it was just two pennies and pennies. It's, um, what is it now? Pound coins can end up losing hundreds of pounds in an amusement machine. A fruit machine can end up losing hundreds of pounds. Um... It, it gets you addicted because you put the coin in and you win a load of money maybe a couple of times but then you put the pound put you put what you've won back into the machine and you can end up losing everything from gambling including horses gambling is meant to get you addicted you've got to realize with everything in life people want your money they want your money they want to make a profit, they don't want to make a loss, do they? So if you keep winning, they're going to make a loss. So a lot of times these machines are rigged in the company's favour. So with scratch cards, it's probably a similar thing. So getting a couple of scratch cards every so often is, is not a problem. It, it's when you, you win some money and you think, oh, I've won some money on that card. Now I'm going to buy 50 more cards and you end up losing on every card, you see. So it's best to keep that £50 and buy something with it than go and buy £50 more scratch cards. That's all I'm saying. So be gamble aware. So card number 39. Our winning symbols are a plane and a camera a 
and my symbols are the sun, a lime, a fan, a bottle, a suitcase, a pair of shorts, some flip flops, and a pair of sunglasses so we haven't won anything on number 39 we're going to go to number 43 and the winning symbols are the sunglasses and the camera and my symbols are flip-flops sun bottle, shorts, sun lounger, plane, suitcase and lime. So no win on that one. Now we're going on to card number 40. And the winning symbols are a bottle, and a bikini of my symbols bone pair of shorts suntan lotion camera plane sun lounger passports and a fan so no win on card 40 now we're going on to card 42. The winning symbols are a suitcase and a fan. And the symbols are a lime, passport, lotion, bottle, flip flop sunglasses, bikini and a phone. So four scratch cards, no win. This is the last one. And what are the odds of winning on these cards? Overall odds of winning a prize are approximately 1 in 3.94. So 1 in 4. So four cards, not one winning, not one win. Winning symbols on card 41. A pair of flip-flops and a bikini. My symbols. Bone. Suitcase. Passport. Sun lounger. Camera. Lime. Plane and shorts. So you can't trust what they say on the cards, can you? No win on these cards. Now I've been getting a fair bit of luck and just lately I haven't been buying many scratch cards because they've all been losing ones. I bought a couple of five pound ones the other day, didn't win anything. And I bought five scratch cards, so the odds of winning one in four, I bought five, there's not one win on them. So that's £10 gone when I could have got £10 worth of shopping, right? And this always usually happens to me when I actually would have needed the money, so... For the time being, I probably won't be doing the scratch card videos. Oh, I'll go somewhere else to get them and try and go somewhere else because I've been winning on, when I've got cards from other places. Because I got those in the co-op up the road. So, just trying to show you that you can win, but then you'll end up putting all your money back into buying more scratch cards. Now, it works for some people but for me it doesn't. See you later.